Hey Board Game Maniacs, Maniac Rob here to bring you another unboxing video. What we have before us is none other than Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal, the board game. This game is released by uh, River, Ho River Horse, ALC Studios, Tabletop Tributor, and Jim Henson, Jim Henson Company. So, I love, absolutely love Jim Henson, his movies, The Muppets. I grew up on this stuff. This board game, The Dark Crystal, is actually based off of a 1982 movie made by Jim Henson. The entire movie has not one human being into it. It's all puppets. I mean, and it's so lifelike and realistic in the fantasy world. It's incredible with the gelflings and the sketchies sketches and it just oh, there's so much about this world that's incredible now if i do recall labyrinth came out first and then jim henson was like well let's make a movie with like all puppets into it and they made the dark crystal phenomenal movie and i hope the board game is going to live up to the uh to the movie now river horse uh they made a game, um, The Labyrinth. It's like I'm looking for it in the back, but I don't have to look for it because I already did an unboxing the gameplay video in the channel for The Labyrinth, which is another Jim Henson movie. Phenomenal movie, and the game is incredible. The River Horse game, uh, Tabletop Tributor, The Dark Crystal is probably going to be the same as an incredibleness. It's not even a word. As incredible as labyrinth or better i don't know we're gonna rip it open and see what's inside because this is phenomenal i've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this game to come out ever since they announced it onto the river horse website i've been waiting so long for this and i finally got my my hands on this game i'm excited as if you can't tell because i love the dark crystal I love the Labyrinth. I love Jim Henson. I'm going to keep just repeating that over and over again. In any case, let's rip this puppy open. See the beautiful Dark Crystal stuff inside. Maybe we'll find a shard from the Dark Crystal. Who knows? No, oh, the Dark Crystal. Oh. As always, before we rip open this and see the loveliness inside of it, I really do hope shirt from the dark crystal before you rip it we gotta admire this wonderful wonderful artwork jen this is one of the sketchies sketchies i can't even say it now bah! and i can't remember her name oh my god it's kara i think it is two sketchy miniatures and you get two gelfling miniatures incredible river horse logo they made the labyrinth and it was phenomenal. I mean, incredible. Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal board game. Jen and Kara managed to find the shard and heal the dark crystal. Will Jen and Kara manage to find the shard and heal the dark crystal? I've seen the movie, I know what happened. The Gelflings have only until the great conjunction when the three suns align. If they fail, the rule of evil will be established for the rest of time, as well as against the cunning schemes and dangerous servants of the Skeksis. The age range is 14 plus, two to four players, and it's roughly about 60 minutes. Let's just flip this baby over and rip it open. Oh yeah, come on. I want that shirt. I want that shirt. I want that shirt. Oh, oh, oh. The shirt from the dark crystal. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Plastic. Oh, let's smell the dark crystal. Smell of the dark crystal. Come on. Ah! I just heard it. Oh, baby. Oh, that smells good. Oh, yeah. Insert to hold all of your stuff. We're definitely going to be looking at these minis, but uh -uh, not yet. We're saving to the best for last. Everything in this box is best, so let's take a look at this first. This here is... 
Wait a minute. You know what we have to look at first. That is the rule book. You get a little bit of advertisement there. The anniversary edition Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD coming this spring. I already had the movie, like two copies of it and Blu-ray too, so yeah. But oh, it's advertised in the labyrinth, which is awesome. And if you notice the Goblin expansion for the Labyrinth. I also have that and I've done an unboxing video for that too as well. You can always look in our channel, the Board Game Maniacs channel on YouTube and you can find both of these unboxings. And gameplay for the Labyrinth. I didn't do a gameplay including the Goblins yet, but I certainly will be doing it. www.riverhorsegames.com and you can check it out as well as all the other amazing products that they do have. Rule book. It's a total of 24, well 25 if you count the phenomenal artwork right here. The rule book is packed with a lot of pictures and information because it's a rule book obviously. Oh, That's in the movie if you don't know check it out because it's well worth the watch. Oh my look at that artwork. Well it's a photo from the movie. Fizzgig. That's his name. It's not Fuzz. It's, I don't begin with an F in it, but it's Fizzgig. Fizzgig. Right there, baby. Fizzgig. That little fluff ball, fur ball. You get four cardboard standees. Total one, two, three, four. In the game, you get the cardboard standees. Uh, and this cardboard standees that you get that you put on these, I will pop them out and show you two as well, but it's, you get four Gartham stand-ups. You get one slave podling stand up. You get one Gorman Sketsy stand up. And you get one slave master Sketsy stand up. Dice. A D20, call D20 because of 20 sides, obviously. You get a D12, which is the black one because it got one to 12. The D8, so it's eight sides, obviously. You get the purple one, which is a D10. You get the red one, which is a D4. And you get the green one, which is a D6. So these are a very important part of the game. So when you're taking tests and so forth too as well, and fighting with your with your brawn or your speed or your weight it'll probably tell you just like on the labyrinth game it tells you what color die to use when you're going to roll to take the tests two little black washers to assemble the clock which i'm certainly going to assemble to show you because it on the back of the box it looks phenomenal you got a pack of cards but we're going to open this these cards take a look what types of cards they are so I'm just gonna rip these babies open. The trick again is just push them sideways and they pop open and, and look what you get. Look what you get. Look, 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 look. Plastic. Four special ability cards. One for each character. Cause it is, uh, you get four miniatures. So let's look at these here. So you get a Gelfling pipe. Uh, maybe I'll bring it over there so you can see a little better. Keep this card beside your character. Now, Jen plays a pipe. So where he plays a pipe, he can, he can do special things with it. So again, just like in Labyrinth, special ability for Jen using the pipe. Really cool artwork. There's Jen right there in the back. Wings, which is Kara. She can fly, and we've seen that in the movie. Again, if you did not see the movie, I definitely recommend going and seeing The Dark Crystal. You can rent it. I'm sure you can find it online too as well. Um, I think I've seen Google, you can pay like $3 or $3.25 and you can watch it online too as well off of Google. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I did see it advertising somewhere. Or you can just go out and buy the movie. And in the spring where they're releasing the uh, special anniversary edition Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD coming in spring, you can always wait and buy it then too as well because it's well worth it. Anyhow, I'm rambling on. So Wings, this is Kara's special card. You can see the artwork right here. Very nice indeed. Maddening Whimper. Oh yeah, this is one of the Skeksis. Now, uh, I think this is the one that won the battle in the movie. I don't want to do too much of a spoiler alert there, but you have uh, Skeksil the Chamberlain and you also have uh, Skets on the Gartham Master. So, which one is which? 
you can see the artwork. See, there's the Gartha Master right there. You can see that in focus, there you go. And this one here, <clears throat> excuse me. And this one here is the Chamberlain. Mm, that's the kind of noise to make. I love it. So yeah, that's your four, four specialty character cards that you get. During the game, you move your miniature around the board and when you land on a space that is empty, you obviously have to draw, which is called a world card. You get 25 world cards. I'm not gonna spoil it too much of what it is, but we'll just take a quick peek at some stuff. And what they do is they will get you to perform certain tests, and if you succeed, you get bonuses. If you fail, some bad things can happen. Next, we have mystic cards. You get nine of them in total. So the mystics are just like the Skeksis. They're the oldest onto, into this world. Sort of like companions almost, I guess. Oh. Pew! You obviously gotta have Skeksis cards. You get seven of these. You're playing the Skeksis, then they will be your companion. They never, ever, ever get along together. They're always fighting to see who's the top dog. You also get minion cards. Is uh, You play them with the Skeksis, obviously, because you can see if they're very dark and evil looking, just like the Skeksis are. But the way that you guys use, with, you use these, as far as I can tell, is uh, you can, it, it's kind of like a, a bonus that you pull one of these and it can tell you like, hey, there are Gelflings over there. I'm gonna send something and attack them. So it helps the bad guys. Not together, because obviously they're gonna fight. But look, you know, like the crystal bass. Uh, lots of crystal bats. Feed the slaves! Roll a d20. Like, I like how they, like the d4, d20 and everything, they're color coded. So even if you don't know what the, the dice are, like what a d4 is or what have you, it has the color. Say, so, hey, use the red. Use the black, use the green. Very nice, so yeah. These are the minion cards, and like I said, when you're playing the Skeksis, you would use these two as well to give them bonuses or cause interference for the Gelflings or other Skeksis too as well. Hey, there are Gelflings over there. I'm gonna send something and attack them. It helps the bad guys. Super thick. So when I picked it up, it was like, whoa, there are a lot of cards in here, but there are actually only four, but they're really thick, just like the other ones in Labyrinth too as well. I keep talking about Labyrinth because it is a river horse game too as well by Jim Henson. And it's it just, the quality in that game is phenomenal. And same with this, you guys are just doing yourself even more because the quality is awesome in this. So this is a character card you can see with the green dice. Uh, the green for him is the speed, it's a D6, his wit is a D12, and his brown is D8. During the game, you'll be asked to perform certain tasks or tests, and this is how you determine, even fighting, this is how you determine how you win. And it shows here about willpower, three willpower, and he ha can, there's another fourth one there. Ooh. Gelfling, you'll die. The Chamberlain right here, this is Skezel. And you can see the really cool artwork on the back too as well. Skekong, Gartham Master. Speed is the same. His wit is a D8, his wit is a D12. Because the Chamberlain was a lot smarter. He was very conniving in the movie and very sneaky. So, but he was a wimp. That's why he only has a D8 for his brawn. But the Gartham Master, he was really strong. This is the guy who snapped the crystal in two in the movie. Kind of took over as the boss. D12 for his brawn. You can see the willpower for both are the same. So this is Jen. He is the, the male Gelfling. Speed is a D8, wit is a D10, he's pretty smart, and bronze D4, he's a Gelfling, he's not gonna be that strong, he's only a small little guy. Dear Master, I'll find the shard. Look at different willpower. The Skeksis don't have as much willpower as what the Gelflings do. So this is her stats, D8, D8, and D6. Same for willpower. I talk with the flowers and all the living things. Speed's a D8, they're the same. Uh, wit is a D8. The wit of Jen is a D10, a little, a little smarter. Bron is a D6 for Kara, and Bron is a D4 for Jen. So Kara's a little smarter. I mean, a little stronger, but not as smart as Jen. 
That is the character card you get for them. I so hope to come out with expansions because I'm excited already for this game. So this is your turn token to see whose turn it is. So that's Fizz, Fizz Gig. So you can use him in the game. This is incredible. You get the Emperor token or the em one Emperor token. So yeah, that's the Emperor token right there. And this thing right here is one crystal share token. So this is what the game is all about. The clock or the turn counter. You get the two of them and you piece them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put that puppy together by the two little black, the male and female uh, grommets, I guess you can call them. You put one in one hole here and the other and you squeeze them together. And you can see there's a piece here that you pop out so you can see the number. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. That is Agatha's array, so the turn counter. So you can see the numbers here, and then you have some fancy, this is the planets when the, the three suns align, then the game is over. So you have to try to uh, restore and heal the dark Chris by putting the shard into it before the three suns align. So you can see here, this is really vibrant color and it looks phenomenal you ever seen the movie you can you'll say that this is very close to what it looks like but three-dimensional obviously so yeah you can see it's 23 turns that's all you get so again it goes around goes around goes around and when you hit 12 oh, number 19 there's something going on with 19 because it's purple i wonder what so 23 that is the end when you hit 23 or you count down. We'll find out when we play the game. The other tokens you get, you have 24 willpower tokens, which you use during your game to add or take away from your character. But if you lose all of these will tokens during the game, you don't die. You just have to go back to a place just like in the labyrinth and you're going to rest for a turn so that you pick up more willpower. Uh, you also get standees such as these guys right here. Whoa. Didn't get that in focus. There we go. These are Gartham stand-ups, and you get four of them. Next, you have these here, which are mindless because they are slaves. They're poddling slaves, and their eyes are just kind of blanked out. They're white and yellow, and you know, because they're slaves, they're mindless slaves. You also get, this guy here is the uh, Gorman Sketsy Stand-Up. And this one here is the Slave Master Sketsy Stand-Up. So you get those two as well. And that is all the icons you get into the game. Just so everybody knows, you get your stand-up, uh, your standy stand, I guess. And you get your stand E and you just fit it together and there you go. See. They hold together nicely and they turn to like a three dimensional on the game board, which is even better. The Dark Crystal Board Game. It's pretty big, like, can't even show you all of it. Like, that's huge. So, this is where you walk around or run around the board. You're going to put the cards here and you want to make it to the Dark Crystal right here. And there's spots that you're going to have to fight certain. Uh, creatures along the way before you get to here. Now, as I understand is, oh, why do I move this down a little bit if I can? So, this is kind of like the center. So, if two Skeksis get there, they're gonna have to fight to the end. So, the Skeksis, like I said, they want power, they're greedy. So they will battle each other if there's two of them in the end here, at the last part of the game. But if it's the Gelfling here, it's gonna be able to heal the crystal. Heal the crystal, the dark crystal, and bring order back to life. Back to the world, I should say. It is time to see the miniatures. Look, just look at the detail. This guy here, this here is the Chamberlain. Oh, he's gonna be so much fun to paint. Like, look at all of the detail. I can't get over this. Like the Labyrinth miniatures were phenomenal with the detail. These guys are, whoa, like incredible, incredible. Let's see if I can get a little closer on the camera too as well. Look at that. Awesome, awesome miniatures, I have to say. Oh, nice and smooth, ready to 
paint one of the Skeksis. Oh, again, this is the Chamberlain uh, Skeksil. Now, let's look at the other one, which is uh, Skekog. This one is Skekog, the Gotham Master. Oh, nice detail. Like, he's holding his, uh, his scepter there, too, as well. Holy smokes. Whoa, like, look at his back piece. Awesome. Great job, River Horse. Um, I don't know if it's the same guy who, who uh, sculpted the Labyrinth miniatures, sculpted these, but it kind of looks like his work. Phenomenal work for sure. Maybe it was. I'm not sure. Awesome, awesome work. Wow. Let's go on to the Gelflings. <laughs> this is Kara with holding none other than Fizzgig. Look at that, the little fuzzball, Fizzgig. She's got her cloak on, because in the movie, she is wearing her cloak, hiding in the shadows, and so nobody will know that she's a Gelfling, because apparently there are only supposed to be one Gelfling alive left. And But that Gelfling, Jen, found her. So that is the look. Like, oh, I just, Again, I don't know what to say about these miniatures because they're great detail too as well. I like the bases. Now, the bases are hollow underneath, but they have enough weight to them so they're not going to, you know, intentionally fall over on the game board. But you can always put some metal or something in the weight down if you wanted to. But because of the base, it's nice to make it look like a wooden base if you want like a chess piece or whatever you want. But really, really great. Now let's go on to the last miniature, Jen. This is Jen. He is, when the movie starts, you're introduced to him, the Gelfling, that you think is the only one until Kara comes into the, into the movie. But yeah, there's Jen. He has his, uh, his flute, which he uses all the time. Really nice. Like These quality for the miniatures has totally blown me away. It's bringing me back to the memories of watching The Dark Crystal. It's like yesterday, wait a minute. I did watch it yesterday. Anyhow, it brings me back to the first time I've watched it. Awesome movie, awesome miniatures, and I'm certainly positive that River Horse and Jim Henson, the Jim Henson Company, I was gonna say Jim Henson Studios, but it's Jim Henson Company. I'm sure that is gonna be a phenomenal board game, just like the other one, The Labyrinth. Awesome work, I am super impressed. Well, there you have it, Board Game Maniacs. The entire contents of the game, The Dark Crystal by River Horse Games and Jim Henson Company. Oh boy, I am excited. I don't know if I want to paint the miniatures first or play the game, like just a test game before I play the miniatures. For the Labyrinth, um, I played the game before I painted them. I think that's what I did. And I may just do the same because I don't know if I can wait that long because I have a lot of the painting projects. In any case, this game looks mint and I cannot wait to play it. I am so excited. Like, look, just another shot of the miniatures. They'll blow you away, the quality. Wham! There you go. That is the Dark Crystal again. Based off the Jim Henson movie, The Dark Crystal. Phenomenal. So, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I know I'll be doing a lot of unboxing. I'm just kind of uh, caught up into a big build, which I am not going to tell you what it is that I'm building at the moment. I'm going to release it in a mini video series for what I'm doing, but that's up and coming into the Board Game Maniacs. Uh, YouTube page. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is yet, but that's why I haven't been playing a lot of games because I am not really have a lot of time to play the games because I'm caught up in doing these this build that I'm doing. But you will see and you will like it. Guaranteed. In any case, Board Game Maniacs, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. If you would like any other unboxing videos, by all means, just leave some comments down below and let me know what games that you would like me to see played or unboxed. If you also own any games or you created a game and you would like me to showcase it onto the Board Game, Ma Board Game Maniacs webpage, the, the YouTube channel, I'd be more than happy to do so. 
just contact me at boardgamemaniacs at gmail.com and we'll discuss what it is that you want and how I can help you out get your game out there so other people can see it. Or even if you are a terrain company or you are a one man show that makes terrain and you want me to showcase your terrain stuff, I'll be more than happy to do so too as well. So again, email me, boardgamemaniacs at gmail.com. We also have a Facebook page. We also have an Instagram page. And now we have a Tumblr page. Woo-hoo! So you can find us all on there with other little painting projects that we do, other little game stuff that we do, just some candid pictures and some funny snidbits and everything else. There you go. That's my spiel. And as always, you know what I'm going to say. Play some games. Play some VR. Just talk to people. Communicate with them. Have some fun, even in person. But the main thing of all, when you're playing the board games, be a maniac. Hope you had fun. See you next time.